Yumeko Jabami, a mysterious second-year transfer student, arrives and is introduced to the school by Ryota Suzui, a student who is now a pet after having lost a bet to Mary Satome, their class's best gambler. Mary challenges Yumeko to a modified rock-paper-scissors game. Although Yumeko loses, she requests a final bet worth 10 million yen in cash and reveals how Mary manipulated the classmates' votes to allow her to determine Yumeko's cards. Mary is mocked by Yumeko for giving away her methods and wins the game, placing Mary into debt. Yumeko gifts Ryota some of her winnings as thanks for adding to the thrill of the game and considers him her friend. Following her loss, Mary becomes a pet. Yumeko is challenged to a double concentration game by Itsuki Sumeragi, the daughter of the CEO of Japan's top toy company and a first-year member of the student council, famed for having never lost at a card game before. For this gamble, Itsuki uses two decks of cards made by her father's company and wins 20 million yen from Yumeko in a close match. Despite Yumeko's lack of money, Itsuki decides to accept her request for a second round under the condition that if Yumeko loses, Itsuki will have her fingernails and toenails removed to add to her extensive nail collection. Itsuki deals from the same two decks, confident that her cheating style of using heat-activated patterns in the cards will help her win again. However, Yumeko reveals that she had picked up on her scheme and used her intellect to memorize the cards, winning the game and remarking that Itsuki would have won had she used the new deck. Yumeko is invited to the traditional Culture Research Society's club room just in time to witness Mary lose a high-stakes bet, adding 40 million yen to her debt. Mary's opponent, Yuriko Nishinodin, a student council member and president of the Culture Club, challenges Yumeko to the life-or-death game. After the first game ends in a draw, Yumeko decides that Yuriko has been cheating by having the dealer wear magnets on her hand to affect the movement of the swords. Just as Yuriko becomes panicked over the thought of potentially losing over 2 billion yen, student council members, including council president Kiriri Momobami, step in to observe the game. Yuriko wins, which Yumeko suspects may have been the result of an elaborate cheating method the student council used for their game by heading to the room underneath and using magnets to prevent her from winning. At 310 million yen in debt, Yumeko ends up being classed as a pet too. Yumeko and Mary receive life schedules from the student council, which dictate their entire futures, including which career they will have, who they will marry, and even how many children they will have, if they don't clear their debts. With the increasing number of pets, the student council announces a debt exchange game, in which groups of four students play a game of two-card Indian poker to try to exchange their debts, with the winner losing their debt completely and even standing a chance to win money. Yumeko and Mary end up in the same group, with Jin Kiwatari, a delinquent male student, and another pet named Nanami Subomi. Despite Jun not having any debts, he enters into a relatively small 10 million yen debt to use the game to make profit. Jun appears to deduce that Yumeko and Mary are working together, only to wind up in a bluff play by Mary. Jun is put under pressure as Yumeko and Mary deduce that he is forcing Nanami to cheat for him. With the game now a battle of bluffs, Jun is desperate as he stands to obtain a large debt if he doesn't end up first. He manages to move up, but becomes panicked when Nanami gets a chance to overtake him and tries to coerce her into folding. Yumeko convinces Nanami to stand up for herself, and Nanami rebels against Jun's orders. In the end, Mary ends up first place, while Jun ends up last, as it is revealed that Yumeko and Mary had switched the debts they had with each other, making Yumeko's of least value instead. As a result, Jun ends up with Yumeko's 310 million debt. Yumeko obtains Mary's 50 million debt, and Mary's debt is cleared. While Nanami is left with the same debt she started with, but with a new sense of freedom and self-esteem. Despite having enough money, Yumeko still has not paid her debt, leading the student council to conclude that she wants to challenge Kirairi to a match. Mirarai Ikishima, a deranged student council member, challenges Yumeko to a guessing game. The winner of each round gets to point one of two revolvers at the loser and pull the trigger, which neither knowing which of the gun's six chambers contained a bullet. Despite the possibility of losing her life, Yumeko agrees, but only under the conditions that the game only lasts three rounds. Ryota must be the dealer, and the loser must pay one billion yen. Mirari adds that should the winner miss her shot on purpose, the loser can fire a shot in return. Mirari fully loads her gun and scores higher in the first round. Yumeko warns her that pulling the trigger is a bad idea, but Midari ignores her. Midari doesn't hesitate to shoot, but the gun is Yumeko's and it is unloaded. Midari reveals that gambling with money makes her feel nothing. 
She pokes her own left eye out as payment for losing against the council president and realizes she only likes gambling when the risk is pain or death. In the second round, Yumeko correctly matches every card as Ryota simply uses her card order from round one. In the final round, Midori puts Ryota under pressure by reversing the screen and giving him 10 seconds to deal the cards in the same order again. Having figured out the cheating, Ryota is right-handed but was somehow dealing with his left, Yumeko loads two bullets. As Midori wants to be shot, she aims to get no matches, knowing that with a full match, Yumeko has to pull the trigger five times, guaranteeing at least one shot but Yumeko ruins her plan by getting no matches too, resulting in a draw. Yumeko finds playing with no risk boring and despises Midori for it. Defeated, Midori begs Yumeko to shoot her, but she refuses. Meanwhile, Mary refuses to join the council and swears revenge on Kirari. Kirari departs from the academy, leaving the rest of the council unsure how to deal with Yumeko, and letting the second years, Kaede Menyuda and Yumemi Yumemite, to take advantage of the situation to increase their authority. As Itsuki, who is in danger of being disowned by her father after the loss to Yumeko, offers to become loyal to her should she defeat Kirari, become the president, and return her to her place on the council, a challenge letter from Yumemi arrives. As the head of PR and YouTube Japanese idol, Yumemi bets Yumeko 50 million million yen on the outcome of an on-stage idol competition. Should Yumeko lose, Yumemi will alter her life schedule to force her into an idol duo with her, thus losing any hope she has of a social life or meaningful relationships, much like Yumemi's own life. Yumeko tricks Yumemi into admitting her real thoughts that her fans are all disgusting pigs on a recording device and adds them to the bet. If Yumemi loses, Yumeko will then release the tape and destroy her career along with her hopes of becoming a Hollywood actress. Yumemi invites everyone to witness the gamble, which will take place after her in-school concert, arranged by Kaede. Yumeko and Yumemi play games designed to test idol skills, such as dancing and singing, where Yumemi allows Yumeko to win several games, so there appears to be a risk she will lose. For the final game, they have to guess the birth months of members of the audience, which is crucial in that should Yumeko lose this game, she loses the entire gamble. Yumemi, having memorized the birthdays of her entire fan club, is confident of her win, but panics when Yumeko manipulates the dice and the audience member is chosen by Mary. Yumeko tricks Yumemi into writing a 9 on her card when she wrote 6, initially scaring her. But when Mary's birthday is revealed to be in March instead, Yumeko wins the game by her guest being 3 months closer, winning the entire game. The recording is played, but even so, Yumemi's fans still remain loyal to her. Yumeko is pleased at Yumemi's conviction, reveals that someone had attempted to sabotage Yumemi's career by sending her a ripped-up fan letter, along with the challenge match prior. Yumemi then publicly accuses Kaede, who is the only plausible option for ruining the match with her. As Kaede denies any wrongdoing and announces his plans for the next president, Yumeko suggests they gamble to decide who is lying declaring it an official match, which he is not allowed to refuse. Kirari attends a meeting with the heads of her extended family, all members of the Momobami clan. Back on stage, Kaede becomes convinced that Yumeko is simply a gambling addict, who gambles for the thrill of it. The masked vice president, Ririka, suggests a genre of modified poker where no player is allowed to fold or call, and the last player who raises can decide whether a stronger or weaker hand wins, meaning each round will have a winner, and insists on being the dealer. Like in a regular poker match, each player may discard and replace any number of cards once before betting. Yumeko uses her 310 million to 31 poker chips, where Kaede buys 100 for 1 billion. Yumeko wins the first round, causing Kaede to factor in her love of risk-taking and use his keen calculations and intellect to win the subsequent rounds. Yumeko is given the option to continue playing, rebuy, and calls out to Itsuki in the audience for money. Kaede insults her but offers her council seat back, prompting Yumeko to defend Itsuki as her friend and urges her to take the risk for the sake of her ambitions, rather than to accept her seat back from Kaede as the safe way. Mustering her resolve, Itsuki buys Yumeko 100 chips. Much to their horror, Kirari announces she will no longer support the other family heads. On the other hand, Yumeko and Kaede keep battling until Yumeko runs out of chips again. However, the two continue to buy more chips until Kaede raises her bet by 100 chips to force her to stop for lack of money. Yumeko suggests Itsuki bet her life, i.e. to receive a life schedule, and although she refuses at first after seeing Yumeko's cards, she rips out her own fingernails and willingly bets her life. 
Based on Itsuki's family wealth, Ririka declares her life schedule to be worth 10 billion, prompting Kaede to challenge the decision. Ririka then removes her mask, revealing she is actually Kirari in disguise, and that the two are twins. Himeko's bet now totaling 12 billion, Kaede desperately bets on his own life schedule for 10 billion and chooses to be strong. However, Yumeko reveals that Itsuki's desperation was a plot to deceive Kaede into choosing strength, and that she has three jacks, beating Kaede's three eights. Kaede ends up billions in debt and loses his council seat. Yumeko and Kirari sit down to discuss their reasons for gambling, with both of them appearing to have some sort of attraction to each other. Finally, the two face each other in a gambling match. Council member Runa Yomozuki acts as judge in the match between Yumeko and Kirari, with the loser to be expelled. Kirari chooses the Tarot Cards of Fate game. Yumeko picks a card and gains one point. Kirari picks a 21-point card facing away from Yumeko, meaning Yumeko must score 20 points or that Ryota has to locate the full card facing Yumeko. Sumeragi and Mary believe a card with a lipstick smudge is the fool. Although Yumeko says she is the only one at risk of expulsion, Ryota vows to share her fate to be with her. Ryota is tempted to pick the marked card, but changes his mind at the last second, suspecting that it's a ploy by Kirari, and eventually chooses totally at random, the risk factor arousing Yumeko intensely. The chosen card is worth 20 points, thus equaling Kirari's score. The game ends with Runa declaring the match a draw, and no one having to be expelled. But Kirari and Yumeko agree to gamble again in the future. In a closing dialogue, Ryota sums up how Yumeko has affected everybody she gambled with. Kirari decides to dissolve the student council, and Yumeko continues to be a compulsive gambler.